committee on this one. Um, just so you know, it's not the same people on each committee. We've asked for volunteers and then we look amongst the ranks of mana who have come forward. And we were really, really lucky that Sue Bradford, everybody knows Sue, came forward to lead the policy formation on welfare and we've been really uh, fortunate to have her. The other person, I don't know if Paul's here, uh, Paul Blair, who's a member of the Rotorua Unemployed Workers Union and a huge advocate for us. He was part of that group and um, Helen Potter and others. And I just want to say personally, because this is such an important part of us assisting the poor and dispossessed, that this is the second key plank of our policy direction as, um, as a party. So kia ora. Kia ora koutou, e mihi nui ana au, kia koutou. Uh, fantastic to be here today and thank you for that introduction. Um, it, one of the things we're up against at the moment, we have a huge attack on beneficiaries coming from Paula Bennett and John Key. Um, the, our whole welfare system is under threat and if National wins the next election, it could be a, things could be getting a lot worse. And one of the myths that's talked about is that benefits themselves cause the problem of dependence, cause all the problems around benefits. They say the benefits causes it. What, what, what we're saying in this policy we've written here is it's not benefits that are causing dependency in the problem, it's poverty and unemployment and low wages that cause the problem. So we need to target where the real issues are in our policy. Um, and again, I'm not going to go through all this. Um, people, please feel happy to contact me or Paul Blair or others if you want to um, ask questions or make further contributions. But just a few of the main things that, that we've put here. First of all, that actually behind welfare lies jobs. Um, and that if we could get all our uh, kora mahi into decent work or into training and education, that would immediately get a whole lot of people off, off welfare. And that you really, with a good welfare policy, you actually put real jobs at real wages first. Um, the second thing is that we'd like to go in, we're advocating that mana go into the election with a policy that we advocate for a one-off hardship grant of $1,000 for every adult over 18 um, if they are in work or on a benefit, that they get the special $1,000 grant before Christmas to help them um, because of, to address their immediate needs, um, which is very similar to what uh, Kevin Rudd did in Australia. I know we'll be attacked as being really radical or out there for advocating this, but I think we all know how much difference even $1,000 could make to so many people. Um, and what we're recommending is that is for adults who, whose income is under $30,000 on a benefit or in the workforce. Thirdly, we, we want to see our benefits lifted to the equivalent of the levels that they were in early 1991. Some of us are old enough to remember what happened when the national government, Jenny Shipley and Ruth Richardson, remember them? <laughs> uh, cut the benefits. Some of them they cut altogether. Um, we want to see those benefit levels restored because since that time the life of beneficiaries has just often been one of going into debt over and over again because what the government is paying is nowhere near enough to support your children and to survive. Um, we want to uh, restore the training incentive allowance, the TIA, so that people on the DPB and other long-term benefits can go back to university. The, the very thing that Paul have been, benefited from and yet she pulled up the ladder behind her so that people on the DPB who really would like to get a good education and make, make a real go of their lives um, can't do it anymore. Uh, we want to radically change how work and income operates. Um, we might even uh, change that department altogether, but as many of you who have been in the benefit system will know um, how, how humiliating, harassing, um, the constant raru raru there is, the way one is often treated with such disrespect, deliberately humiliated, deliberately mucked around, deliberately not given your entitlements. Um, we really, there's a whole lot of detail about how we'd like to change how the state operates in relation to beneficiaries and really go back to a system where welfare is seen as a safety net for people who can't get a job, who are trying to bring out kids on their own, who are sick or injured or have a major disability, that, we, that everyone is treated with respect, but rather than as a criminal because you're in that situation. 
Um, the last thing, I'm not going into all the detail, but the last thing I'd like to say is that in the long run, Paul and I are advocating strongly that mana look at a universal tax credit or a universal basic income system where everyone has a basic tax-free income that's enough to live on um, so that we get away from the whole shaming and blaming benefit system that we have at the moment and that that's put alongside a full employment policy. Uh, kia ora koutou. Thank you.